Hey y'all, coming to you from the International Headquarters Scotty D TV, but I was down to 2022 World of Wheels Birmingham and I came across a 1976 Trans Am I think y'all are gonna like. Let me get the camera turned around, we'll take a quick look at it. Sean, how are you brother? Fine, how are you today? Good, very cool car, what year is that? That is a 1976 Pontiac Trans Am. It how long is, have you had it? I've had the car since 2015, but I've known the car since 1979. Oh wow. Uh, I used to work at Mayant's gas station in my local hometown and the guy would come by and I would fill, ga fill the car up with fuel and I fell in love with the car then and I was able to keep up with it over the years and finally purchased it in 2015. How did that work out? It worked out real good but when I got it home I realized that I had to put a full floor pan in the car. Okay. So the car has been re over restored down to every nut and bolt in the chassis, the suspension, the motor, the 71 ram air exhaust manifolds on it to make it breathe and sound a little better. It's, there's nothing that's not been touched on the car, no expense spared. Still a numbers matching car though. It, it does have the original 455 engine, it has the original Super T10 transmission and the original 423 limited slip rear end underneath it. And did you do all this work yourself? I did most all the work, Big Oak Garage, did the body work and painted the car, M&M hot rod interiors out of Holly Pond, Alabama, did the upholstery and then me and all my buddies did the work in my home hot rod shop. Cool, you think you're gonna keep it forever? Absolutely, Yeah. unless somebody comes by with stupid money. So, did, so the whole time you were waiting for this car to come available, is, did you have another Trans Am or you just waited on this one? I fell in love with the Trans Ams when I used to fill this car up in 1979 and when I turned 16 in 1982, I bought a black 78 Trans Am. Uh, and I kept it. That's what I drove during high school. Wow, weren't you a player? Yes, right. absolutely. Right. In a small town Alabama on top of that? Small town Alabama, everybody knew he was driving the black Trans Am. Holy cow, I bet they did. No, it's a cool car. Underneath you had all that redone and all that too? The underside looks as good as the top side. The exhaust is all completely polished stainless steel exhaust. So you're the second owner? I'm the second owner. Oh, cool. And so you're just out showing it today at the uh, World of Wheels in Birmingham? Exactly, absolutely. Yeah. yeah, wanted to share it with everybody else. Right on. Anybody else you got to give a shout out to for helping you get through the whole thing? Just all of my close friends that helped me coming by at night and on the weekends, you know, using their time. Right. I really appreciate everybody that's helped me. And of course, Will, Posey, and the guys at Big Oak did a wonderful job on the paint. And Pam and Wayne McGriff at Eminem Hot Rod Interiors did a wonderful job on the leather interior. Yeah, tell me about that. That that's, it looks like a stock interior, but it's all leather. You're exactly right. In 1976, it was vinyl. And Pam and Wayne, when they redid the interior, they took the old seat covers and laid them out, traced the patterns, and redid it in leather. Yeah. That's just one of the many things that we did to over restore the car. What else did you do? Um, Outside of the paint, because that's mild deep black paint on it. Uh, yeah, absolutely. And interior, the engine compartment is detailed to the max. The engine compartment is detailed to the max. The, the undercarriage is detailed to the max. The trunk is detailed to the max. Everything that could be bought to, that I could replace, I did replace. And took it back to what, 1976. This is, if you bought one, this is what it would have looked like. It, exactly right, but it's probably a whole lot shinier than it would have been. Oh, yeah, 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 much nicer. I much nicer. And how many miles is on it? About four. How since, many miles is on it total car, not since you redid when it? When I got the car, it was an 89,000 mile car. Okay. Wow. So they didn't drive it all. They didn't lot drive either. it very much. Yeah. Uh, rumor has it, rumor has it that the original owner, now this is before the Smoking the Bandit days, uh -huh. rumor has it that the original owner bought the car to run cocaine out of Florida. Okay. That's why he wanted the big motor. Right. And the four speed. Huh. Big motor with 230 horse. And yes. He wasn't out running a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Sean, it's a cool car, brother. Thank you for giving me some time today. Thank you. I appreciate your time. So there you go. From the 2022 World of Wheels Birmingham, a very nice 1976 Pontiac Trans Am. Hope you all have enjoyed it. See ya. Hey, y'all, make sure you subscribe to this channel and visit scottydtv.com for an easy way to search the hundreds of videos I have posted. Either click the link in the description or the one at the end of this video.